Welcome to Agorcom, the small cap epicenter and Agorcom TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show that brings you the best press releases out of the small cap world every morning before the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe even find your next great small cap investment. It's Wednesday, October 10th. I've got six great press releases for you from both sides of the border spanning across different industries. I'm going to start it off here with OSI Geospatial. They trade on the Toronto Stock Exchange under the stock symbol OSI as well as the OTC under the stock symbol OSIIF. They announced a $2 million contract to provide submarine navigation systems to the Australian Navy. What they're doing here is they're going to provide six navigation systems and a software upgrade to the Australian Navy's Collins class submarines. What I like about this, on top of the fact that you've got a small cap company making a significant sale to, uh, to, a, to a major nation's defense industry, you've also got a president, the quote from Ken Kirkpatrick, president and CEO of the company, who states, We've been working with the Australian Navy since 2004, and including this contract, we've now secured more than $9 million of business with this very important customer. Uh, some pretty big numbers coming out of a small cap company with a major, uh, with a major nation's defense system. So you got to take a closer look at OSI Geospatial, the trading right now at $0.49. Cents. Next up, N Finance Inc. trades on the stock symbol NFSC on the US OTC bulletin board, announced the signing of a distribution agreement with the nation's largest retail prepaid distributor. That company is Incom, who has 145,000 retail locations across Canada, Europe, uh, US, and Puerto Rico. They're the largest retail prepaid distributor in the United States. They've got over $5 billion in retail sales transaction in 2006. So if N Finance is able to uh, plug right into this distribution agreement, they should be able to do very, very well. And they're going to distribute these prepaid gift cards in both English and Spanish. N Finance is trading right now at $3.50. Next up, Diamonds North trades under the stock symbol DDN on the TSX Venture Exchange announced an increase in their Kimberley tally to 22 on their Amarook project. Congratulations to our friends Nancy and Mark over at Diamonds North. Specifically with this press release, they announced the discovery of an additional six new Kimberlites. Uh, this year, 17 new Kimberlites have been discovered on the property, and that brings a tally up to a total of 22. I've got a quote here from Mark Kolobaba, the present CEO of the company, who states, a total of 17 new Kimberlites discovered on a proven diamondiferous property. Property. I think our chances of discovering Canada's next largest diamond mine have increased dramatically. There's some pretty big words out of Mark. We don't think he'd be making that statement if he didn't really believe it. And you've got some great numbers there. As with all these uh, press releases out of the exploration world, we urge you to go take a close look at the press release because it's got a lot of technical details. But the company right now is trading at 71 cents. Uh, up next as well, Trade Winds Ventures trades on the TSX Venture Exchange under the stock symbol TWD, as well as the Frankfurt Stock Exchange under the symbol TVR. They intersected 19.27 grams per ton of gold over 7.18 meters at their property up at Detour Lake. That property is actually a 50-50 joint venture with Detour Gold Lake Corp Gold Corporation that's on the TSX under the stock, stock symbol DGC. They drilled four holes. They're trading at 28 cents. Go take a look at the assay results. Uh, some good news out of trade wins. Another resource company, Midland Minerals Corporation, trades on the TSX Venture Exchange under the stock symbol MEX, announcing some pretty big news today. They're saying that the first five diamond drill holes completed to date on their project in Cyan intersected mineralization similar to that found at Newmont's, Newmont Mining's Akiem Gold Deposit. Now, what's the significance of that? So their Cyan project, it's a fully permitted gold producer or past gold producer, is located 30, 30 kilometers northeast of Newmont's Akiem Gold Deposit with over 8 million ounces of gold. Take a close look at that press release. They're trading at 39 cents. And finally, China Security and Surveillance announced some big numbers in Q3. They trade on the OTC under the stock symbol CSST, CSCT, pardon me. The company's new contracts and sales orders are $81 million for the quarter, and they're expecting to record most of that, recognize most of it, in Q3 and Q4. You're talking about some citywide surveillance systems. They actually secured 20 new citywide surveillance systems in China, factories, hotels, residential estates, and corporations. Obviously, the company's doing extremely well in the security business in China. Now, they are trading at $28, so it might be out of the price range of most small cap investors, but 
I do bring it up because it is a great example of what is possible on the uh, on the small cap markets. And nonetheless, if uh, China's security and surveillance has got this much of an input into the country already, who knows where their growth is going forward because we all know what's going on in China. That's a wrap for the day. As always, if you've got some market intelligence to contribute, we're going to post these notes to our blog right after this show. And if you're looking for more great small cap companies, take a look at the Agoracom marketplace. We've got over 70 great small cap companies divided by industry and exchange, so you can find the ones that are best suited for your investment needs. Have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.